Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for starting us on our way this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the rain. Oh, God, in the sky, it's coming down, which means showers of blessings will fall upon you. Showers of blessings will fall upon you. Only if you keep God's commandments, God shall I will bless you. When you keep God's commandments, he shall I make you the head and not the tail. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Shall I make you above only and not beneath. Showers of blessings. I believe that rain that came down on yesterday and coming down today, it means showers of blessings. And I believe a lot of times that it rains, it also means the wrath of God is coming upon the wicked. For the Bible said that God is angry at the wicked every day. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away, Lord. Ah, we all had made mistakes at one time. Ah, we all had fell short. We all was born in sin. Because of Adam and Eve. They were disobedient in the Garden of Eden. God told Adam and Eve not to eat other trees. A knowledge of good and of evil. They was not supposed to eat other fruits. But the serpent had came to Eve, who is a weaker vessel. Now when the Bible says that the woman is a weaker vessel, it does not mean she's weak in the way we define it. What it means is that she's a weaker vessel, she's more emotional. That's what it means by the woman is a weaker vessel. But women are strong. Women have taken care of children when the man was not around. There were mothers who had raised children all by themselves when father was not around. So women are strong in many areas. So when the Bible says she's a weaker vessel, what it means she's more emotional. Not that men are not emotional, but the women are, are much more emotional. You can use your emotions in a good way. That's why when a woman cries to God, God honors her tears. That's what I love about David. I know David was a warrior. And God used David to slay Goliath. Who was nearly 10 feet tall. Way bigger than Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant was a giant 7 foot 4 or 5. 525 pounds I believe he was. As big as Andre the Giant was, he had nothing on Goliath. Goliath was wide and nearly 10 feet. God used David as a warrior who was a child to take that slingshot. The Spirit of the Lord was in the rock. And he swung that slingshot and the Spirit of God was in that rock and hit Goliath in the forehead and down went Goliath. And the name David means beloved one. Jesus said, I am the roots and the offspring of David. I am the bright and the morning star. I know David was a warrior, but David knew how to cry. He said, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard my cry. So God honors tears. That's what the Lord loves about a lot of many women. You know how to cry to God, and God responds. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Where you at? Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank God for the woman of God. That's my Holy Ghost woman cop who prays in the Lord, who's a supervisor of the police force. She knows how to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at the showers. The blessings coming on down. So the serpent came to Eve and deceived her to eat the fruit and she persuaded Adam. They were disobedient. God cast him out the garden of Eden. So every baby who was born was born in sin under the curse of sin. Under the law of most. Hey. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, that's my Holy Ghost the woman cop. Praise the Lord. She's a supervisor of the police force down there at the police precinct. She had the microphone in the police car and she said, praise the Lord. She knows what I'm all about. We're about souls. Ah, revival is even starting even in the police force. The detective got the Holy Ghost 
on yesterday. Hallelujah. Under the law of Moses, God gave Moses 613 commandments according to the Hebrew Torah. I know we're going to talk about the Ten Commandments, but according to the Hebrew Torah, which means the law of life, God gave Moses on Mount Sinai 613 commandments who he gave to Israel. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Praise the Lord, my brother. I'm happy to see you. God bless you, and God bless you too. Praise the Lord. Thank you, good brother. Hallelujah. May God save you and fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. God is here. God is in the atmosphere. Under the law of Moses, they offered up lamb's blood for the washing away of their sins. We know about Abraham. Abraham was a friend of God. God made Abraham the father of many nations. Made a covenant with Abraham. He had seven dispensations. Started from innocence, then conscious. Dispensation means it's a period of time where God tested man to see how faithful and obedient man and woman would be to God. He started with a dispensation of innocence, conscious, human government. At that time, that's when Nimrod built a tower of Babel to reach heaven. He tried to be God. No one, no one can be God. There's only one God. He had the spirit of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a deceiver, but Jesus Christ is our Savior. I'd rather follow Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise with the name of Jesus. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Oh, getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Jesus is the Holy Ghost in spirit form. To the time the heathen government, God struck down the title of Babel and confused the tongues because the people, the multitudes combined with Nimrod to rebel against God. God struck them down. At that time, they spoke in one language. God confused the languages and that's why we all speak in different languages. Then they went on to the dispensation of promise during the time of Abraham. Like I just said a couple minutes ago, seconds ago, God made Abraham the father of many nations. God gave Abraham Isaac. God gave Abraham and Sarah a son in their old age. Praise the Lord. Is anything too hard for God? No. Is anything too hard for God? No. God gave Abraham and Sarah a child in the old age. In the 90s, God can do anything. His name was Isaac, which means laughter. Because Sarah laughed when the three angels came to Abraham and told Abraham, you're going to have a son. Sarah laughed. The reason why she laughed, because she couldn't believe it. She said, I'm too old to have a son. We're too old. We're in our 90s. And the angel said, actually, Sarah, is anything too hard for the Lord? So the name Isaac means laughter. When Sarah laughed, God gave them a son. Jacob came along, which means Israel. He wrestled with the angels. Then he went on to the dispensation of the law. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. When God gave Moses the commandments on Mount Sinai, like I just taught a couple of seconds ago. Now in the dispensation of grace, St. John chapter 1 verse 17 said, The law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. Now we're in the dispensation of grace when Jesus came. Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 1 verse 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. For it is the power of God on the salvation. Hallelujah. Unto everyone that believeth, unto the Jew first and also to the Greek. Thank God God is calling the Gentiles and to the folk. Thank you, Jesus. Yahshua HaMashiach. God chose the Jews first of the Old Testament. 39 books of the Old Testament. 
27 books of the New Testament. All together, there's 66 books of the Bible. The New Testament is a time of grace. But God has chosen the Gentiles. Call them into the folk. First he chose the Jews. He made a covenant with Israel. He also told Israel to be holy. For I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 44 and verse 45. Now we apply to the church today. Aglesia in the time of grace. First Peter chapter 1 verse 16. He said be holy for I am holy. Cornelius was the first Gentile who was baptized in Jesus name. He was a Roman. He received the Holy Ghost. On the day of Pentecost, they received the Holy Ghost. The Bible said, and suddenly there came a sound as a mighty rushing wind. Praise the Lord. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And it came upon them as fire. And they spoke with other tongues. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. They spoke with cloven tongues. Oh, 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 Lordy, 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 Lordy. Ah, I feel the anointing right now. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. That was the Holy Ghost. And, and there was on one accord in one place. Read the book of Acts chapter number two. The Holy Ghost sat upon each of them. It came as them as fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost represent the joy of the Lord. Honey, you ain't got no joy. Something is wrong somewhere. Because when you receive the Holy Ghost, it comes with joy. My sermon today, the enemy may try to annoy, but don't lose your joy. Keep your joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep your joy. Don't let the devil make you lose your joy. One of the fruits of the spirit is joy. The devil don't want you to have no joy. But tell the devil you a liar. I'm going to stay on fire. Hallelujah. And don't let the devil cause you to go to hell fire. Tell the devil I came too far to turn back now. I'm too blessed ha, to be stressed. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost come with joy. When they receive the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, which means 50 days. It means feast. Hallelujah. Woo! I feel Jesus. They received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. Praise the Lord, woman of God. Praise the Lord. God bless y'all this morning. Glory, adios, gracias, Jesus. Praise the Lord. They praise God up in here. Praise the Lord. The Holy Ghost came with joy. That's what the fire represents, the joy of the Lord. If you in the church, that's God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you this morning. God going to bless you today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory out of your glasses, Jesus. If you in the church, where well, they don't believe in praising the Lord. If you in the church, where well, they ain't got no joy, and they're dead and dry and boring, you in a gloom and doom church. But it gets set there. They don't raise their hand to God. Now and then you ought to raise your hand to God. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Not just only on Thanksgiving. So we can love Jesus. You don't just give God praise only on Thanksgiving. Come on, come on, come on. With the turkey is on the table. Gobbler, gobbler, gobbler. No. When you love Jesus, you give God thanks every day. Not just on Thanksgiving when the turkey is on the table. A gobbler, gobbler, gobbler. Come on. You give God thanks every day. That's why David said, I will bless the Lord. Ain't that right, woman of God? Say something to those of you. Bye, Lord. Bye, Lord. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for the blessing. May God give you an increase. Increase. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Keep your joy. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. The devil will use folk in your family. He'll try to use your husband or your wife. I folk on the job to try to make you lose your joy. But tell the devil, 
You may try to annoy, but I refuse to lose my joy. How do you do that? Abide in God's word. And let God's word abide in you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Seeking these shall find. Knocking the door shall be open. Jesus has open arms for you because he loves you. Hallelujah. Now God can teach you how to love yourself. We can love Jesus. You don't just give God thanks only on Thanksgiving. First of all, God bless you. Glory adios. Glasses Jesus. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. God is in the atmosphere. Praise God. God is saving drug addicts and getting them out of the attic and making them men of God. Hallelujah. God is saving prostitutes and making them pro prophetess. God is saving sinners and making them saints. We all were sinners at one time. We can love Jesus. You don't just give God thanks on your own Thanksgiving. And first of all, you don't realize that Thanksgiving, a lot of holidays are pagan anyway, like Halloween pagan. Celebrating all these monsters and creatures. And much as I like Christmas, but I go and believe I made it pagan. Christmas tree is pagan. I want to teach you a little bit before I can go any further. Jeremiah chapter number 10 speaks against Christmas trees. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 19 speaks against Christmas trees. Jeremiah chapter 10, Jeremiah chapter number 17, although the name Christmas tree is not in the Bible, but it talks about the pagan worship, how they worship Nimrod. I celebrate the birth of Jesus, but I don't celebrate Santa Claus because Santa Claus ain't nothing but Satan. Which means Satan want to grip you in his cross. Jesus came to deliver us from the devil's cross. You don't realize that Thanksgiving originated because of the soldiers came to America and they murdered the native Indians and burned the women and children alive and the president declared it a national holiday of Thanksgiving. So even though we like Thanksgiving, and we like the turkey, all the stuffing and the food. But Thanksgiving really originated from murder. When the natives, when the soldiers, I'm not preaching racism, because I love everybody. You say love one another. But the white soldiers murdered the native Indians. They burned the children, the mothers, and the children alive, the women and children alive. And the president declared it. A national holiday on Thanksgiving. They don't talk about that too much. I just wanted to just put that out there so you can know. Because the Bible says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Praise the Lord for the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Jesus. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Then it go on to say, because they have rejected knowledge. And God said, and so I will reject you for being peace unto me. And I will forget about your children. You don't want God to forget about your children. The reason why God said that, because he knew that the children would come out just as wicked as the parents, because the parents have rejected God. They was wicked. Why do you think God destroyed the world back in the days of Noah? The adults and the little children was wicked. They had a chance to repent. God shook the flood. But when you repent and come to Jesus, God will have mercy. He'll break the curse. The Bible says if the wicked will turn from their wicked ways. God will have mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. So going back to Thanksgiving, where you have the joy of the Lord, you don't just praise God on your own Thanksgiving, but you praise God every day. You thank the Lord every day. When you wake up in the morning, Lord, I thank you. When you go to sleep at night, Lord, I thank you. That's called having a relationship with God. I'm not talking about religion. There's a lot of religions out here. I'm talking about having a relationship with God. You see, God wants a relationship. Tell someone, I want a relationship with God. How you do that? by receiving Jesus in your heart because God wants our hearts. The Bible said in Jeremiah, 
chapter number 17, verse number 9, that the heart is desperately wicked. Not just wicked, it said desperately wicked. So if your heart is desperately wicked, then you'll do desperately wicked things. That's why I want God to cleanse my heart. That's why Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart. Oh, I like that. Today shall see God. That's why I want my heart to be right with God. Ain't that right? Lord, forgive me for my sins. So when God is in your heart, what's in your heart would, the, would affect your spirit. What's in your spirit will affect your attitude. Your attitude affects your action, and actions speak louder than words. Amen? That's why Jesus said, if you love me, hallelujah, keep my commandments. So when you love Jesus, you don't mind obeying Jesus. Are we perfect? No. We all make mistakes. That's why we must abide in his word and let his words abide in us. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Someone say stand. God bless you. Thank you for having church with me this morning. God bless you. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. Because the enemy is trying to make you lose your joy. He fights against our minds. He come against our sleeps and trying to get us to have nightmares. But when you put on the helmet of salvation, God will keep your mind in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on Jesus. I came with a mind stayed on Jesus. God bless you, daughter. Good to see you this morning. Amen. Thank you so much. And once you have the helmet of salvation, spiritually, God will give you a peace of mind. Praise the Lord. David said that the angels are the Lord and camp about those who fear the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs chapter number one, verse seven. When you spend time with God, he'll give you wisdom. <laughs> when you spend time with God, he'll give you knowledge. He'll teach you things because God was the one who created minds. God was the one who gave us a brain. God would teach you. He would talk to you. Praise the Lord because the enemy wants to make you miserable. He don't want you to be happy. God want to give you joy. God want to give you a peace of mind. Mode. See, when the Holy Ghost come, the Holy Ghost come with joy. God will give you joy that drugs cannot give you. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Woo! I felt that right there. Hallelujah. Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Ooh, I feel Jesus right now. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen, sister. I'm happy to see you this morning. Keep your joy. The devil been trying to make you lose your joy by using player haters against you. But they can't hurt you. God said, I make you the head and not the tail. Ain't that right, preacher? I make you the head and not the tail. I don't care what witch and warlock, what witchcraft against you. No weapon. Say it again, preacher. No weapon formed. No weapon that's formed against you. Shall what? Prosper. God got a hang around you. <laughs> I hear the Lord say, God, we're trying your decrease in the increase. Come on, you done brought more power over here, preacher. He'll make you through your stepping stone. That's right. This is the hour for God's power. <laughs> and God's power will never grow sour. Oh, Lord. Let's put it in the air. Praise him. Praise him. Put him in the air. Because when the praises go up, 
the blessings come down. Oh, hallelujah. You said a mouthful, prophet. Thank God for you. You were too anointed to be disappointed. <laughs> God bless all of y'all. Keep your joy. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. God loves you. And you're special. You're special. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. Hallelujah. When you got the Holy Ghost, he'll give you joy. God want to see you happy. I'm praying for you today. I want to see God bless you today. With the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came with joy on the day of Pentecost. Woo! She, praise the Lord. Happy to see y'all. Praise the Lord. God bless my brothers. They praising God down the street. My Holy Ghost, transit workers. Glory adios. Gracias Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep your joy. The enemy may try to annoy, but keep your joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. How do you do that? Praise the Lord. Amen. Keep your joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! I feel the presence of the Lord. I believe God can work a miracle for you. Just have faith and believe. With God, all things are possible. I believe God can make cancer disappear out of your body. I believe God can make arthritis huh, disappear out of your body. In the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Joy in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Glory adios, gracias Jesus. Hallelujah. The devil got witches and warlocks practicing the evil against you. But no weapon. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. God got a hedge around you. God got angels around you. He said goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. When you walk up right before God. That's only for those who walk up right before God. Hallelujah. He said no good thing. Where will I withhold from you? When you walk up right before God. He said I will give you the wealth of the wicked. God will make your enemy bless you. <laughs> I felt that right there. God will make your enemy bless you. And they don't know why they're blessing you. That's what happens. When you walk up right before God, hallelujah. When you put God first, he'll make your enemy, your footstools. Woo! I felt that right there. Praise the Lord. The Bible said that when a man's ways, please the Lord. He'll make your enemies at peace with you. He'll give you favor, 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 favor. Someone say favor, favor, favor. Keep your joy, saints. I got your prayer request on the YouTube. Person say you're going to do something on your job. They trying to get you in trouble. They trying to get you fighting. They lied on you. That's the enemy trying to make you lose your joy. But God got it. Woo! I hear the Lord say He's on the case. Don't worry. Give it to Jesus. He's on the case. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And it's never too late. That's my second sermon right there. Jesus is on the case. He's on your case. And he's not too late. Ah! God just gave me that just now. Jesus, hallelujah, is on your case. And he's never, 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 never too late. If you don't believe me, ask. Read the book of the story of Lazarus. Praise the Lord. Lord of my high most Glory adios, gracias Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, I am a believer. Jesus arose Lazarus from the dead after he'd been dead for four days. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It looked like it was too late, but here comes Jesus. He said, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said, hallelujah. He that was dead came forth in grave clothes, wrapped in grave clothes, a mummy. And Jesus told him, loose him and let him go. Jesus is the only one who I know who could be late and still be on time. 
Hallelujah. He's an on time God. Oh, Lord. Ah, I feel Jesus. God is on the case. Many of you have a court case that you're dealing with in the courts. God is going to fight your battles. God is on the case. God is a lawyer in a courtroom. Somebody having a court case. I don't know who you are. God said he's on the case. He's going to release that money. That's due for you. Praise the Lord. God will fight your battles in the court. He's a lawyer in a courtroom. He's a doctor ha, in a sick room. Keep your joy. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout right now. I hear Lord said somebody going to a court case. God is on the case. And God is never, 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 never too late. It looks like it's late. But Jesus is always on time. Woo! I felt the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Keep your joy. Keep your joy. God put a hedge around you. God said, my peace, I give unto you. God said, my peace, I give unto you. I'm the Lord God that healeth thee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, if my people, huh, who I call, by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Praise the Lord. Seek my face. Hallelujah. Turn from their wicked ways. Shh. Then God said, I will come in here. Now God will hear from heaven. He said, I'll forgive your sin and I will heal the land. We can say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Now forgive each other. The devil used folk in your own family. Many of you got loved ones fighting against you in your own family, especially family. Jesus said a man's household shall be his own folk. But he said, fear not. I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. I raise you above your enemy, even in your family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some of you got witches and warlocks doing the witchcraft in your own family against you. Your own sister jealous of you. Your own brother being jealous of you. Some of you got your own mother turned against you. It hurts when your own family turn against you. But you are the one that God is going to bless. God bless you, brother. I'm happy to see you. The Lord spoke to me about you two days ago. Yeah. He told me you're going to be one of the greatest men of God. This one is a big one. Woo! Hallelujah! God bless you right now, brother. Have a good day, my brother. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, brother. God bless that young man that God is raising up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God going to raise that young man up to be a preacher of the gospel. That's why God had me here to encourage you. Some of you got your own brother turned against you. Despising you. And draining you out. And using you. You done got so drained on your job. They don't understand what you're going through. But God understands. This is your time to be blessed. This is your time for joy. This is your time for a release. Hallelujah. You've been waiting for a long time. Ah, hallelujah. But just keep on living a holy life. Hallelujah. By presenting your body as a living sacrifice. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Holy and acceptable unto God. You always come on top. Well, you got Jesus in your life. He said, thanks be the God. <laughs> Somebody going to get a breakthrough today. Thanks be the God who's given you the victory to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ah, hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You don't have to take no jug overdose. You're coming on top. Keep your joy. Keep your joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Don't let the devil make you lose your joy. Tell the devil you're a liar. I must stay on fire. Woo! They receive the fire of the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. The fire of the Holy Ghost represents joy. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise the Lord in the afternoon. Praise the Lord before you go to sleep at night. When the praises go up. Woo! Glory adios. Glasses Jesus. The blessings will come down. 
Now the bridge is falling down. The enemies are coming down. Jealous people are coming down. Pray haters are coming down. Witches and warlocks who been working evil against you are coming down. He said, I bring down the high places. I fill up every valley. What's wrong? I make it right, says the Lord. I turn your darkness into day. Woo! Shh. Shh. Hallelujah. We been. We been. Making dear for the night. Woo! But joy. <laughs> I felt that right there. Joy, 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 joy. We're coming in the morning. This is your time for joy. So if you're in a dead church who don't believe in the joy of the Lord, they don't believe in praising the Lord, that's the wrong church. Our church believe in praising the Lord. We, we believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. God said, I'm not the God of the dead. Not to disrespect the deceased, but he's the God of the living. What well, that means spiritual death. People are dead spiritually. He's a God of the living. Hallelujah. Glory, adios, glasses, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He wants to live in you. Many of you are LSD. You need Jesus to set you free. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the firemen. Let them receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God be give you glory. God be give you praise. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Many of you have been on heroin and cracking cocaine. But get in God's domain. And he'll set you free from crack and cocaine. And you no longer will be insane. When you get in God's domain, he'll set you free from crack and cocaine. Now you no longer will be insane. You don't need no crack. Just run to where Christ is at and get out the prayer match. And he'll deliver you from crack. Many of you been on crack because you've been depressed. I know what it's like to be depressed. I've been there. Back in Harlem, where I was born at, in New York City, been preaching the gospel since I was a child. I know what it's like to be depressed. We all been there at one time. Many of you are looking for a release. Jesus is still the answer for the world today. Not drugs, not crack, not heroin. It's Jesus. Tell us when it's Jesus. Amen, sisters and the Lord. God bless you all this morning. And thank you. It's Jesus. Not drugs. Let the Lord give you a hug. You don't need no drugs. It's Jesus. You don't need no heroin. Just repent from sin. And the Lord will live within. He can set you free. You don't have to take no LSD. Woo! Praise the Lord. God will give you the victory. You don't need no LSD. Jesus Christ can set you free. He can give you the victory. A, B, C. One, two, three. Jesus Christ died for you and me on the cross of Calvary. And he'll give you the victory. In the year 2024, God will bless you some more. Woo! In the year of 2024, God will bless you some more. You don't need no dope. God is a great, great hope. And he'll give you a hope. I'm not talking about the Pope. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The joy of the Lord is your strength. The enemy may try to annoy, but keep your joy. Stay in God's word. We're going to say a prayer out there in YouTube land and for those out here outside. For those who have been abused and sexually molested. I can never know who your father was. No wonder you've been depressed. You never knew who your father was. Many might have been sexually abused. You might have been molested when you was a child. And you never told nobody. And that's why you've been depressed. Many of you might have been foster children, going from group home to group home. And that's why you don't have no joy. Today, God will give you a peace of mind when you receive Jesus in your heart. You can have a conversation with the Lord right now and say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're praying for the people. We're praying for those who's tired of being on drugs. We're praying for the people right now. 
Repeat these words after me. Say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. Be Lord of my life. I believe that you was crucified and that you died on the cross and God has raised you from the dead. You died for my sins. I want to be saved. Do a transformation in my life. Give me that joy that the preacher is talking about, Lord. Joy is one of the fruits of the spirit. If you evil and miserable, jealous, you ain't got no joy. Misery loves company. But when you got Jesus in your life, he'll give you joy in the midst of sorrow. He'll give you peace ha, for the day and tomorrow. When you got no money in the bank, you still got your joy. Because you know that God ha, will supply ha, your every need when you're seeking first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And all his righteousness. And all these things ha, shall be added unto you. Let tomorrow worry about itself. You still got your joy. Because you got faith in God. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And the evidence of things not seen. We're living by faith. We're serving the God that we cannot see with the natural eye. You say, preacher, why? Well, how do you know if God is real? I don't see him. Good question. Why do you know if the wind is real? I don't see the wind, but I can feel the wind. We can see how the wind takes effect on nature. The wind is invisible. Although we feel the wind, we see how the wind manifests itself through hurricanes and tornadoes. Amen, somebody. That's like the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. Shh. They didn't, they didn't see the wind, but they felt the Holy Ghost wind. That's like Jesus. That's like God. You don't see him with the natural eye, but I can feel him. But you must believe in him. Believe, receive, and serve him. It starts with a belief. That's why Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I am the life. Though he was dead, yet shall he live. And he that believeth in me, he says, shall never die. Which means he'll give you eternal life. Everyone doesn't believe in God. Well, that's their choice. God doesn't force the Bible on nobody. God gives all of us a choice. I choose to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And there's those who have chose to make a pact with the devil. That's their choice. Like they made a pact with the devil in Hollywood. There's consequences. God bless you. Praise the Lord. The Bible said in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that the wages, hallelujah, praise the Lord. God bless you, young man. God bless you, young man. I've been praying for you. You look good. Look like God is blessing you. Like you go, oh, that's so nice of you. God bless you. And look like God is blessing you. You got a breakthrough, didn't you? Woo! You got the victory. You got it. And watch, it's going to manifest because of your faith. Because of your love you have for God. Because of your faith in God. God has not forgotten about you. He's going to raise you above every enemy, every circumstance, because your heart is in the right place. I'm so proud of you, young man. We need more young men like you. You know that? We thank God for you. You too blessed? And too anointed to be disappointed. <laughs> I, that's all right, brother. You're doing good. Right. God, thank you for that. No problem. We're going to stay in contact. All right. You're going higher, 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 higher. Keep lifting Jesus higher. He's taking you higher above every demon that be coming against you because God got angels around you. He got a hedge around you, a shield of protection. That's the word that God told me to tell you for the day. God bless you. Go in peace. I love you, brother, for you and your future wife. Ha <laughs> ha. And not a knife. <laughs> God bless you, young man. Thank you, Lord God, for that young man. He has such a giving spirit. God gonna give you an increase for giving like that. God will give you an increase. 
Like the Bible declares in Romans, chapter number 6, verse 23, that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, Santa Claus cannot give you that gift because Santa Claus means Satan want to grip you in his claws. But Jesus came to deliver you at the devil's claws. Jesus want to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. Ain't that right, preacher? Say something for the YouTube land, like God, before you go all around the world. That's great. Amen. Keep it the good way. Thank you, young man. God is with you. Thank God for you and you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus can give you a special gift, which is himself. And he'll give you the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Keep your joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for these young men who love Jesus. I so love you, Jesus. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you. Y'all too. too blessed? Yes, sir. To be stressed. God bless you. I don't mind praying for it. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Michelle. We're happy to see you today. Both of y'all are too blessed to be stressed. And y'all are too anointed to be disappointed. I hear the Lord told me to tell you right now. The Lord told me to tell you. Ain't no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. For you've been through many things in your life since childhood. Yes, you've been through abuse. But God was always with you. One day you'll write a book, one day about your life. Jesus is healing your broken heart for all the things you've been through in the past. We thank God for this young man of God that's with this woman of God. For one, shall like chase a thousand. Two, will chase ten thousand. And my God, you have a little Holy Ghost child. Three of you will put them to flight. Woo! Hallelujah! God is healing you from the flashbacks of the past. And yes, you are a warrior. For God has made you a spiritual prayer warrior. Demons flee when you begin to speak in tongues. Demons begin to run when you begin to call on Jesus. For you are too anointed to be disappointed. And you are too blessed to be stressed. Every witch and warlock who has worked against you, God will move them. When they mess with God's child, God will mess with them. Woo! Hallelujah! Because you chose it. I thank God for these two, this Holy Ghost couple who loves Jesus. I pronounce the blessings of God upon your life. It's already there. But when the praises go up, the blessings are coming down. It's a pleasure meeting you and this man of God. Every tear you have cried on the outside and on the inside, God is turning it into joy. For you to encourage in others, we thank God that God is here to encourage you. For both of you are chosen. Every yoke from every witch and warlock who has worked against him is broken, is destroyed because of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. It's a pleasure meeting both of y'all. Both of y'all got power. This is the hour for God's power and God's power will never go sour. <laughs> God, God bless you. Anytime you want me to pray, I'm here to pray with both of y'all. The Spirit of God is with y'all. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Ain't that right? Yes. Tell someone, we don't need no drug overdose because we already got the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, woman of God and man of God. Yes. Y'all making such a nice pair in the Spirit. God bless you. And if you ever decide, well, I'm not God. If you ever decide to get married in the future, I'm going to support it. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Anytime you want to talk and pray, I'm here. Pleasure to meet you. Love you. Thank you. God bless you. You got the victory. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless her, Lord. Bless her whole life and protect her, God. Bless her in the school. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the soul who had came to Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for that man of God and his future wife down in Jamaica. We thank you for the prayer that we had on the phone 
for you already down in Jamaica. Why are you here in New Jersey? Because you're everywhere at the same time. 